By this final tutorial in the series, you should be working with a detailed floor plan that looks similar to this example. First and foremost, we need to make sure we have the correct CTB file loaded. A CTB file establishes color-dependent line weights so that you can create a hierarchy of line weights in your drawing based on the layer color. A CTB file and a legend has been provided for your use in this class. To install your CTB file, go to the main menu, scroll down to Print, then down to Manage Plot Styles. It will open up a folder in which your different plot style options are available. Copy and paste the provided CTB into this folder. The file will then be available to you to select when you are ready to print. Once your floor plan is detailed, double checked, and ready to go, right click on your layout tab along the bottom of your screen and choose Page Setup Manager. We want to create a new layout and call it 11 by 17 plate. The printer should be Adobe PDF and that should be an option for everyone since you all have the Creative Cloud installed but if for some reason you do not then go online and download a free PDF printer such as Cute PDF and you can Google that. Once that's chosen, change the paper size to 11 by 17 and the plot style table to 1040 plot style CTB. If you are interested to see the key, you can look on this little square right beside the menu, but be careful not to change anything. You can also take a look at the diagram that has been provided for you in order to understand how the different colors in this particular CTB code relate to different line weights. If the drop-down menu shows all of these as .stb files, then it is formatted to plot based on style rather than color, and you need to exit and use the command convert CTB so the file prints based on the layer color. Once that is resolved, we're going to check plot transparency and check that our scale is one to one. Hit OK, then highlight the template you just created and choose Set Current. Now we want to take a look at our layers and reorganize them based on the color chart we just looked at. Here's an example of how you could name and color code your different layers. Remember, the intention is to achieve spatial depth through your line weights, and the assigned reading goes into more detail on how exactly to do that. Now we're going to move on and edit our layout. This here is our viewport. It is essentially a window that is looking through the sheet of paper into the model space. If you double click within the viewport, you can pan and zoom and draw as if in model space. You can also use keyboard shortcut MS. To manipulate outside of the viewport, double click outside or type PS to work in paper space. To choose a scale for your viewport, select the viewport, then look down at the bottom. Scaling your viewport basically zooms into model space at a specified amount. It is important to understand that you can set the viewport scale but then accidentally change the scale of your drawing by using your zoom commands or scrolling once in the viewport. If you have your scale set and are zoomed into a viewport, you might find it necessary to use the PS or MS keyboard shortcuts to exit model space without changing the scale of your drawing. If you have multiple floors for your dwelling, you will most likely choose 1 16th of an inch equals 1 foot scale to fit them on the layout. For smaller houses, you may be able to use an eighth of an inch equals a foot scale. Find a scale that maximizes the size of your drawing on the page. Make viewport is another way to turn on and off viewports. Once you've got one floor set up nicely, it may be a good idea to copy the viewport using CO next to itself, holding SHIFT. Then use the model space 
to pan holding shift in your second viewport so that your floors are aligned. Some things to note, the grid will not print, but if it's distracting, simply turn it off. Your original image and the viewport itself should be on a no print layer. It should be only your line work that you are exporting. Once your layout is set up, up in the main menu, under print, there's a plot preview which you can use to check your different line weights. Do some adjusting, none should be quite this thick, and potentially add some hatching or other details. Once you're content with your print preview, print, print with the dedicated plot style, hit OK, and save as.